Um, all these same types of enemies will spawn. They can spawn in very slightly varying spots. So that's all there is to the RNG. So I'll know exactly like what I have to kill and where. Another uh, thing you'll notice is that you get your blink charges back after every end of combat. So you can just fly around like this. It's kind of hard for the the camera to keep up with you in a lot of spots. <laughs> so if I gasp like as I fall off a cliff, <laughs> I'm just gonna apologize in ahead of time for that. Uh, we picked this character, Rudolphus, because of this single spell that I've been using this whole time. For the longest time, I was I was just adamant that a different character called the Owl was going to be the fastest because he starts with a really good spell, uh, like a really good damage spell, and then a different spell he has increases your damage by 50% while you're in it, like in this big circle that follows you. So I mean, I thought for sure that was going to be it. <laughs> they pick him because he's a cute cat. Well, that helps, and I like his hat the best too. Uh, but this certain death spray spell is—it's uh, just the biggest damage, and be it's only better than the owl's lightning spells because later on I'm gonna encounter enemies that have elemental resistances. And you can lose like 30 seconds plus on those spots just because the enemies are lightning resistant. Another big thing to note is that these quills uh, fully refresh your, refresh your blink charges. So does opening boxes that we'll find around. But I know all these levels. I mean, sometimes I don't get them straight in my head and which ones I'm on. But all the layouts are exactly the same. So I'm going to be face tanking as much damage as I can. Because sometimes uh, you heal when you go out of combat. But sometimes you go from combat to combat so quickly that you don't actually heal. So it's important to, to not die twice on a level, because you can die once and you'll just get knocked down. But you can, if you die twice, then you'll get put back to the last checkpoint. And there's some levels where that's just absolutely brutal. Alright, so we're on to the first boss fight. The, every boss will give you a new spell. They're all that's where the nine parchments name comes from. You start with three spells from three parchments, and you collect six along the way. Oh, shit. <laughs> this guy is much cooler in New Game Plus because there's a strategy where you make him spit acid onto himself, and he fires a big laser beam, and it just bl chunks himself. It's fantastic. Let's see what spell we get. Alright, we got Fireball. Cool. Sometimes you just get absolute dead spells there, and it's terrible. Oh, right. That's another part. Like, that's the only actual RNG in this game, is the spells. So all these enemies spawn in the same spots, but spells are always random. Yeah, you never really know what you're going to get. It seems to us, like we're not sure of it, but it seems like there are certain sets of spells. Where am I? Okay. <laughs> uh, but there's no way to manipulate it or anything. So, we just have to go with the luck of the draw. I did make a backup for that in case I got absolute dead spells, but we're okay. We're getting some mad blinks. Oh, this 
these guys are the worst. Is this level 0, Rudolphus? No, this is level 60. Um, you lose your spells every time you start a new game, but you keep the levels. That's where this new game plus comes from. Uh, with new game, you can only start as one of the two starting characters, and you're at level 0. So, it's a much slower. I think uh, world record, uh, which I have, is at 139. This is at like 105. The sunny day on the beach dragged on hot and long, with yet no new parchment. So here's our first elemental resistance to the element we have. Most of the time, they will be completely resistant to your damage, like to their damage type. But uh, Rudolphus has some skills where he can use death magic against death guys. It doesn't do nearly as much damage as it should, but it's still good. So I'm hitting these guys with some of those, because it'll do some tick damage. So I don't have to go all the way behind them and hit them, since they have shields up. You have to be careful with Fireball, because you can definitely kill yourself with the splash damage from it. And it's very, very well may happen. One other thing to note is that I play with gamepad actually instead of uh, you know keyboard and mouse. It's because keyboard and mouse it's really hard to to actually play <laughs> when you're off the screen like you normally are in the game. So I definitely like to use you know the gamepad. It's because you know you can only aim where your mouse is. So if you're off the screen, then how are you going to aim over there? I submitted this instead of anything else that I run, which is only Diablo 3 by the way. Uh, because it actually has no glitches in it. Supposedly there was a time where it had uh, some clips out of bounds. But the developers patched it out. So. <laughs> no more glitches. Perfect for this. I'm so used to playing with the music off. I only just play my own music while I run, but it's so nice. Oh, it's so good that we got those blinks back here. Whew, that was a lot of blinks. Oh yeah, it's true, Diablo 3 doesn't have glitches, but I hate Diablo 3. <laughs> I don't hate it, but it's like a love-hate. <laughs> oh sh- I messed that up. <laughs> so you can drop off of that earlier, and you'll start this little sequence here, but I was looking at chat. So I blame you guys entirely for that one. We didn't get the dream spell of uh, Ice Shard as the starting spell, so we can't stun lock these guys. So we're just gonna have to make do with what we've got. That was an okay fight. That was also a boss, so we're gonna get a new spell. 
And these are all bad, but we'll take the the bolt. <laughs> Zenlos is one of my my D3 speedrun buddies. Just a few more parchments and my spell book will be done. He knows the pain of it. Of that dark sorcerer's ghost blowing up the academy. Ooh. He doesn't normally spawn down there. Alright, so we'll hit those guys with some of those. And wait at the gate while they take out. There's some chests that are in the way, but they're still slower to get. Because, like, there was a chest back up there, but I wasn't going to get it because there's no real point since, you know, we don't need it. They're pretty quick levels. Uh, the only thing is, is that it's really hard to practice if that's what you want to do, because there's no actual level editor. This is most comparable, comparable to Magicka. Yeah, uh, it's just that you don't have to, you know, make the spells on the fly like you do in Magicka. You just have what you what you have. Night was descending fast upon the temple, bringing along with it the coldest of breezes from the ever frozen hills. All right, let's see if I can get. Oh nope, I messed it up already. I'll just do the walk of shame back here. There's a bunch of guys, not a bunch, but it seems like a bunch. There's some guys that will spawn uh, just too far away for speedrunning. Like if you're playing casually, they'll walk in by the time that you're finished with the batch that you're on. But you have to run pretty far out of the way to kill some of these dudes. It's like Diablo, but not bad. <laughs> it's probably the best description I've ever had for this game. <laughs> Diablo, but not bad. You learn to really, to really pick on the games that you run, but I haven't been able to pick on this at all besides the camera. Which is obviously just atrocious. But hey, nobody's perfect, right? You just gotta work it. Diablo 3 is definitely not perfect and definitely does not work it sometimes. Oh sir, please stop. <laughs> Alright, so we died because I was trying to play the game off screen. It happens. You just can't see anything, so game does not take... Oh, that's right, these guys. Alright, so this is a predicament. I've killed myself with my own fireballs in that spot so many times that I thought I'd just take that slow. Otherwise, I would have gotten sent way back to a, a checkpoint in the level. This is obviously Diablo Kitty DLC. This game has everything better than Diablo. There's cats, and there's not Diablo. <laughs>
Sorry, it's I just gotta concentrate sometimes when I'm playing the game off screen. It's a little ridiculous. It is actually really good um, that we got Fireball as well. Fireball and Ice Shard are both good spells, but I prefer Ice Shard just because you can stun electrical enemies with ice, but not with electricity. So the only thing that you can stun them with is, is ice. Um, and that's just really nice when there's a lot of guys or dangerous guys like these. I have to jump, otherwise I'm going to get stunned. Alright. Oh, oh. Alright. We'll let him team kill his friend. Take an attack. I didn't say it earlier, but another big factor of RNG in this game is the blinks blink uh, staff, obviously. Uh, I need you, to, need you to work with me, pal. Okay. So we're gonna hit him with that, and uh, we're just gonna walk away, because I want to save some blinks. I hope I don't die. Okay. <laughs> Meow, I'm here again. Too early. The icy trip down the currents would have amused Rodolphus more if the ice hadn't been melted. I do want to shout out uh, Nosferatu real quick because that hero he unlocked every single item, every single character and staff, and got them to level 60. Just and just gave the file to everyone else, so we didn't all have to grind everything out. He got it all done and just handed it to us on a platter. He also found out a much better way to quick kill the last boss than I did. And if I have time, then I'll show what I did because it's pretty convoluted, Chilling so it's kind of funny. Next boss, he's probably like the, I don't know, least favorite. There's no, like, kind of strategy that you can do with him, you just gotta hit him. And also stand over here. This was also another big problem with the owl, is that, uh, you can't use his good spells to kill this boss here, because, uh, those ice berries will block it, but you know. The big damage on this guy. I need lightning spray. Oh, save files are binaries, can't be edited easily. Yeah, what we do is we go into the directory for the game, and there's just a file called save slot one. I don't think or slot one, maybe. And uh, all we do is replace that. It's really nice, really convenient. That's what we're actually trying to like makeshift do with uh There are instant level times. It's just we haven't submitted like anything for them because, you know, it's really tedious to go through all your files every time you want to do a run. Oh, I missed them completely. With the harsh tundra air getting colder by the hour. That was really good. Some guys have a, a stun aura, so if you get close to them, then they'll just stun you. So that was really good, blinking right there. Didn't get stunned. I got I gotta look at chat at the end of the level. I can't keep <laughs> can't keep doing this. Can't keep looking at chat and running. Set a good example. We have to wait for this guy to walk out of the cave because there's a hitbox at the front of the cave for some reason. Alright, there is a bridge here. Cool, I didn't fall off. There is a really nice setting that I forgot to turn on for the longest time. It shows you enemy health bars even when they're full. 
it's really nice because there's people that spawn in caves like that, and you just wouldn't know it. <laughs> I had just been like memorizing how many people spawn in. But yeah, you can just turn that on and it shows you. It's really great. There's one guy that spawns way over here. Maybe I can snipe him. No. Since the spawn location is different slightly, you just gotta hope. These guys are the worst. Wish, I, wish they could just be edited to skip all the grind. Yeah. Uh, and there's the problem of like you get different spells and people will take different things. So. And the editors were saying that they don't promise anything for a level editor either, so it doesn't look very likely that there will be one. So I don't know if, if IL times are ever going to be a thing. Where's my fireball? I need to organize my spells again. Death guys get healed when they do damage to you, so best not to get hit by them. I messed up the strat of letting that ice, ice. I don't know what to even call these things. I've never had to call them anything. <laughs> the little bug. Uh, they can do friendly fire, so most of the time I just let the ice guy blow up those little dudes. Have some sketchy teleports coming right up. Oh. Okay, we're good. It's actually really hard to see Quill right there. They get transparent after you've collected them, so a little hard to see. How about we curl up for a nap soon? There apparently used to be out of bounds for this game, but uh since they've been patched out and I didn't join by that time, I've never actually seen them. So I don't even know what the what to look for if I wanted to look for them. Oh, didn't walk far enough. There we go. This game is actually really new. It just wasn't advertised very well. Uh, it came out of December last year. Probably why most of you guys haven't even heard of it. I'm surprised that it wasn't advertised well because it is part of the Trine series. It's it's not part of the series, as you can tell from the wildly different gameplay. But uh, it's like in the same universe, you know? Uh, Amadeus is actually in this game. You get him from beating the game on hardcore. One of his spells that he starts with is a, just a giant box that he drops on people. <laughs> just like, you know, good old trying. Uh, there is one funny thing with that, is that he can't get the fireball spell. Because in the trying games, it was a thing with Amadeus, is that he never could learn how to cast a fireball, but he could make his boxes and stuff. I'm gonna take this a li okay. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm gonna take this a little slow, but you see why I normally take it very slow. 
There, there, there is some speed tech that wasn't found by me. Uh, I forget who it was found by, but it certainly wasn't me. You can just jump right past those guys, and uh, the platform falls and they drown. This Had no idea this was cannon. Yeah, uh, I didn't for quite a while. <laughs> So we can actually use our, our fire spells to thaw these guys out a little faster. That's why it's good to get the fireball as in like over the frost shard. And we don't need it for damage, so it's all good. Oh, did you find this out? Did you find out you could melt these guys? Or was are you talking about the dock thing? Oh yeah, well, another thing is that when you jump down slopes, uh, you get just a very tiny bit of movement. You get pushed forward just a little tiny bit. It's basically useless, but, you know. <laughs> Gotta speedrun, right? Ooh. Those are some real bad blinks. Holiday. Did it by accident on your first playthrough. God. <laughs> you did a great service for your country. Doing my pipe meme, that's right. That is right. <laughs> Alright, what are you doing? You're a bad influence. You're making me speedrun and, and watch chat. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. I also don't need to get that box either. Because that combat is quick and we get another refill here. Ooh, that was a lot of free blinks. Sometimes those guys will start to cast uh, lightning spells. Obviously the worst since they'll stun you. Those multicolored fellows. Yeah, we didn't get a, a spell from that boss, the, the Glacial Collection, because, I don't know, they're not technically a boss, I guess. With scores of trees in their full breathtaking bloom. Even though the valley's ethereal beauty was marred by needless violence, there was at least a short moment. Alright, that guy's a death resistant one. Oops. <laughs> Here's another one of those spots where people just spawn like really far back. There's gonna be some snakes that spawn like way back over that bridge. Hello. I hope he died. No, he did not. It's unfortunate. It's okay though. Alright.
if we did have instant level times going, there would be certain levels that uh, the Maybe owl would definitely be faster than the cat. Uh, it's just the, all the lightning resistant guys that kill the owl, which is unfortunate because he actually like insta kills this next boss, which we cannot do. It's a little sloppy, it's okay. Hit these guys with this, toss one for him. on the edge of the screen. Oh, it's so nice that they drop this healing, because you just, sometimes you just go and you can't heal. There he is. Right, I need to see where I'm going for this. Take a swing. That was a weird formation for them. F oh, that's not good. <laughs> Actually, I put that curse on myself. This game goes fast. Yeah, it's. I like it a lot because it seems like each individual level is is going really quick. Uh, so. When you like sum it all up, it doesn't seem like that much, even if it is over an hour. There's a cool new game strat that you can do there. Yeah, well, Rukunam, I'm trying not to swear. I'm trying to keep this a good Christian stream. Uh, but on the new game strat, you could make one of those pigs just jump into the water. Yeah, this is the boss I was talking about, by the way, that he can just insta-kill. So we're taking out all of his little dudes first, because if we kill him, or yeah, if we kill him before we kill his dudes, then uh, they all get elemental powers, and that's not very bueno. Plus when you hurt him, then all of his guys get healed. Christian, he says, hey man. Oh, oh, okay, it's fine. That was a really tough choice between two really good spells, Lightning Bolt and uh, Flame Burst. It's a bit of a mystery how a man is a cat. Wow, that was a lot of free blinks. Alright, so I may die, not die, but uh, go down here because I'm trying to Okay, no, we killed everything too fast. If you accidentally make that lift go up, and you just fall off the cliff by a little bit, then you just die. <laughs> the camera really hates you in this game. Oh, I think it's here. Yeah, there's a... Found that out not too long ago. Get some free blinks like that. I get one F word? Alright. Sounds good. <laughs> Whoa, buddy. I've never seen that happen. Alright, at least that wasn't an issue. Those pigs can get deadly. Oh, buddy, come on. Work with me. Oh, we didn't get our spells recharged. I'm just gonna beat him up. 
Now there's one more guy that we just gotta wait for him. There you go. Okay, I just want to say real quick. Yeah, that's true. How many dams? Oh, I guess that's one of them. <laughs> I guess that's one less to how many I'm supposed to get. <laughs> I'm just gonna say real quick, guys. It's fine. It's fine to cuss. Just keep it professional. Didn't really think that one through. Don't be vulgar. That's all I ask. <laughs> Come on, where are you at? It was time to descend into a rather. Oh yeah, we got a blinks back for this. Oh, I didn't kill him. <laughs> Not my smoothest moment. <laughs> Gotta admit. <laughs> There are a lot of spots where you will die if you fall off a ledge too early, like that uh, that boar fight earlier, that boss fight. And there's some where you can just walk off immediately and you're fine. Game's a little silly like that. Like this one too. Just, we good, no biggie. <laughs> Sometimes, uh, for some reason, I, don't, I have no idea why, you just can't blink. Like, the blink button stops working. The air in the so I was just spamming it there and it almost fell off. Pupitak, well, like you're fine to curse, just don't be vulgar. Alright, sounds good. Don't spread lies, I have not- oh, I get it. I have been using curses all run. I'm wicked smart, I got that. Technically, they're hexes. Scaling down the cliffside would require some care. But you know, don't mislabel my, my spells, please. Hope I hit that. Nice. Alright, we'll wait a little extra time. I just don't want to die again. And look like a, a casual. Oh, that's so nice that we got him. I don't know why he was so slow to turn around. Time for this game has been pushed like quite a bit. Filthy casual, only speedruns here, boy. It's true. 
Sometimes I am pretty filthy casual. Uh, but, you know, for the longest... Oh, I need to go back first. Oh, no, I forgot about this guy. I am a filthy casual. What was I saying? Oh yeah, for the longest time, I was swearing up and down that the owl was going to be the fastest character. Nosferatu, you know, the hero that grinded out all these levels, he kept being like, hey, you should try the cat out, I think you might be good. And I'm like, no way, owl all day. And uh, then he tried the cat out, like once or twice, and he's like, hey, I beat ya. I'm like, maybe the cat's faster. <laughs> More swearing? Did I swear? And not even notice? That'd be the worst. I'm surprised that I haven't swore. Oh well, I guess I'm not that surprised, because I typically just do it when I fall off a cliff. Alright. Sorry, I was trying to get those spells sorted. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you guys are good. You guys are getting some real zingers. Alright. This for them. This for them. So yeah, after Nosferatu showed me that the cat was indeed faster, I had to start using the cat. Regrettably, even though he is a cat, he's not as cute as the owl. Because the owl talks about himself in third person. It's adorable. Owl is my waifu, by the way, in case you guys are wondering. That guy spawned on the screen. What a nice fellow. Typically that guy, that guy spawns way off the screen. And either you just, you know, hope and pray that you hit him, or uh, you have to wait for him to walk on. Hit him with one of these. Because we got some walking to do. I'm not gonna blink here, okay. I didn't want to blink early because I've died here so many times that it actually makes me upset to think about it. I get some vivid flashbacks. Whoa. Also all out of blinks, maybe we can just, yeah. Those are coming back. Cool. Those are some good bombs. This is a really good spell, just because you can hit the, uh, the shield guys with it. From a long distance, that is. Otherwise, kind of have to either walk up behind them or make them do their, their little attack. I'm very surprised I haven't fallen off any cliffs yet.
The world record is uh, deathless, but um, you know, sometimes that's hard. All manner of mines and forts have been built there over the years. Nosferatu took my record, like, uh, maybe a week ago. But that I had on the owl. And when I took it back, I was like, please just spare me, like, a week before you try to take it back again. Let me say I have the world record at the event. <laughs> Yeah, the enemies do have friendly fire if you hadn't noticed that so far. So they can definitely help you out sometimes. That was really nice. No blinks on this really long one run. Is this on the Switch? I need this in my life. Yes, it is definitely on the Switch. That's actually where I first played it. And then I was like, man, I really want to speedrun this. And I bought, uh, well, I was going to look at how much I got a recorder for the Switch cost. And it's like $200 or something. So I'm like, is it on Steam? So, got this on, uh, oh, oh. Yeah, there's some juicy fireball action. So yeah, I, I got this on Steam for like, when I was on sale for like $13 or something. Highly recommend. Right, let's not die. Yeah, I played through it a lot on the Switch. Uh, it's it's so good with co-op. There's online co-op on the Switch too, also local. Uh, it's such a good game. I love this game casually. Okay, okay. Let's calm down. to kill this guy first. I played through it with my girlfriend and I swear it was harder than beating the game on hardcore. She was like a permanent enemy. But that just makes it all the more fun, you know? One more parchment left to find. It was time to steal their results. Yeah, there is uh it's one of those games where you can't just play through it once and you're done. You have to play through it multiple times if you want everything in the game. Uh, because you have to do challenges and stuff to unlock all the characters. You only start with two at the start. Oops, wrong spell. Let's just finish the game before I die. I know, it's it's such a fun game, but I I never saw any advertising for it. I only found it because I was looking for games on the Switch. Like, I was just looking at, like, every game that was on the Switch. But yeah, it is a fantastic game. I highly recommend it. Hashtag sponsor. No. <laughs> That'd be something, selling out on a marathon. <laughs> I need lightning bolt here. Yeah, like, um... Amadeus is unlocked uh, after you beat the game on Hardcore. And, you know, there's achievements for playing through with him on Hardcore. You have, there's a, The staff I'm using right now is unlocked by collecting every single one of these quills except for one. There we go. 
So yeah, there, if you're a collectible freak, then there's some good stuff for you there. But this is re it's oh, I love this game. It's so good. <laughs> I would not be talking like this about Diablo 3 though. When is Amadeus run? Probably never because he is so slow that it's sad. Uh, his box, it does really big damage, but uh, it's you, you can only get like a charge of it per fight, so you would be entirely dependent on your on the spells you get in the run, which is not very good. Wasn't a huge fan of this game until this boss. Yeah, it is a nightmare on hardcore. And with my girlfriend. <laughs> you should all try hard as a catch up. Death brush, I suppose. Oh yeah, casually that guy's really cool. What he does is he he does that thing where he broke down those pillars. And uh after the he he keeps doing that every time he pops up, so there'll be more and more of him. But they are supposed to start breathing like waves of fire at you. It's just you kill him so fast that he never, you know, gets to do it. We'll just hit with some ice bombs and smack him. I need to get these spells back over here. So yeah, if you don't kill that guy fast enough, then you're gonna have no floor and you're gonna have a lot of dudes spitting fire at you that you're not even going to be able to dodge it. Sometimes this cart hiccups and it'll just lose all momentum. Yeah, like that. But sometimes it's worse. This is an okay one. It's a lot to, lot to get done sometimes. Oh, and I didn't heal. Uh -oh. We're okay, right? We're okay, right? No, we're not okay. <laughs> I might die here. Sometimes the camera will just kill you. No, okay, we're good. Yeah, that spot, I have no idea what causes it, but sometimes the camera just doesn't follow you up fast enough, or at all, and you can just die. Camera is actually the hardest em enemy in this game. Well, what happened to him? <laughs> Good, I still got it. Oh, hit myself with my own stun. Yeah, final boss sometimes is actually the camera. Sometimes the camera gets really wonky on the last fight. And <laughs> it's not not the best. You can like sort of force the camera, like when you blink a lot, you the camera legs behind, but you force the camera to move with you when you whoop, don't poison myself again. When you move at all. Like when you just walk. 
that makes the camera actually move with you. But other than that, no, dude, you're on your own. This camera's out to get you. This camera's coming for you, then it's coming for your loved ones. It's ruthless. I have, like, briefly thought, thought about the idea of a 100% um, run, but that just sounds awful to me, so I, <laughs> I don't know if we were to actually do that ever. Oh, there's another one. I'm gonna accidentally kill him by then. Yeah, like this is one of the the side quest kind of things that you can do to unlock new characters. This one actually unlocks Rudolphus. Um, you haven't seen any of the other ones because uh, well, we haven't gotten the two of them. And this is the only one that's actually, like, in the way. Well, and the last one, I guess. I can just hit him with this. Alright, since we killed them too fast, we have to wait here. What would 100% contain? I mean, I would assume it would contain gathering all of the feathers, which... Oh, right, there's, there's even more, I forgot. There's 121 feathers. Um, unlocking all the characters, which there's like, I don't know, six, five or six unlockable characters. Uh, I suppose it wouldn't contain unlocking the stabs because some, some of the stabs you have to unlock with doing certain achievements on different heroes or different spell people. Wizards, if you will. So I don't think staves would be in it. But definitely feathers. And all the chests do is the chests either give you XP or they give you collectible hats, which are just part of your uh, Steam inventory. So that doesn't really do anything either. Alright, get beat up. Get beat up. Doesn't sound bad at all. The thing is, is that well, some of them are in are in very noticeable spots. Like all the ones I've picked up, very noticeable. There's a, some that are like very hidden, and when I say very hidden, I mean like they're way out of the way. Let's just kill this guy first, and then we'll deal with him. I suppose it wouldn't be too bad, but if you miss one, then, like, the run is over. Should kill these guys first. some health from that. Alright, we lived from the our own curse. <laughs> right. What do I use on you? Way to eat my fireballs. <laughs> it's okay, we'll just hit him with some of these. That was a little sloppy.
There is one semi-hard fight that, uh... It's at the very end of this level, I think. There was another... The owl was actually unlockable right there, by the way. Um, but there's another semi-hard fight at the very end of this level, which has a possibility of dying and a very long reset, like checkpoint. Like checkpoint is way behind. Okay, now we're okay. What am I doing? Okay, we're good. It's Crash Bash speedrun on the schedule. Crash Bash or Crash Bandicoot? Oh, this is the last level, by the way. <laughs> and we didn't get any blinks on this very long walk so far, so hopefully the next few will, will give us some free blinks. For the ritual of what is Crash Bash? Oh, nice, we got a free one. Free two, actually. The dream run, you just keep blinking until the end of time here. But, you know, it's only a 15% chance to get extra blinks. Oh, Crash Party game, okay. I didn't know that was a thing, but... Board game without the board. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. This is the last boss talking to us as we go through. Oh, yeah, that was pretty nice. So there's a staff you pick up to even be able to unlock Amadeus. Let's just let these guys do their thing. But we're not picking it up because it's not in the way. a sweet little skip. Hop across this here. And we get another feather here to make up for that. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's okay. Just kill him with some of those. Ah, he gave us a good stun. Ice bomb to death. Alright, here's the last fight. Uh, I will say when the time is coming, but it's gonna be a little while, so. Be good. So, this skip was found by Nosferatu. Vastly improved upon the one I found. So, she's gonna charge at us. We move. She's gonna shoot some fire. That's not what you're supposed to do. Alright, I think we got it. There we go. You just jump off the edge while she tries to teleport behind you. <laughs> and then she dies. Alright, time is coming when this uh, stat screen comes up. So, here comes time. I'm glad I didn't mess that up. Normally she always shoots fire at you and then does that. But sometimes, uh, she gets a you little funky. The evil witch and retrieved our missing parchments. Thank you. We'll tuck them safely away. <laughs> well, yeah, that was, that was nine parchments. 10606. I think my world record is 10525. Um... Yeah, it's pretty good. There's not a ton of variation in the runs because uh, you basically just use your death spray spell to kill everything. That time is probably really close to what Nosferatu had. <laughs> 